I'm coming here at the Wave Forward Shot Film Awards in Boreham Wood. I'm sitting here with Dave Welsh, who had an entry, a Day of Summer, uh, animated movie, in the uh, awards that have just finished. Yeah, yeah, everybody seemed to really like it. Um, yeah, really pleased the way things went and the reaction. And mm. So, you know, animations are always difficult, um, um, but people, you know, that was, that was my, probably my... It's not my best animation, but my most successful on YouTube. Mm. It's been seen in about 80, 90 countries now. Mm. I'm here at the Wade Forward Short Film Awards with Anita Nacro, uh, who's just had an entry in the Film Awards tonight, which was... Yeah, I'm on top of the I thought you'd be better to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I put this away? Or no, you can hold that. Hold it. Go for it. That's your prize. You've earned that. So you've got a website, haven't you? Uh, fckfilms.com. Yes. I presume people can see all of your work on it? They can indeed, yes. Thank In the meantime, much. thank you for taking the time out right sure. near the end of the evening Brilliant. to okay. do this for me. Thank okay. you. Cheers. Thanks very much. Thank You're you. Uh, I'm currently sitting here with the panel of judges. Hi, I'm Nick Nevin. Uh, Amy Claire Beals. And I'm Paul King. Mm. Uh, I, I caught the first uh, 11 seconds of the first film and then I left. Mm. Um, Wasn't that you in there? Yes, it was. <laughs> I fucking knew that was. <sighs> go, go, run, run, fire, quick fire! I knew that was him as well. I was thinking, right, where do I know this geezer from? Yeah, he, you were, he was the caveman. I found it. It was a bit different. Obviously, to come um, blind into the new building mm. because it's a team of people that we hadn't sort of worked with before. So it was, Another learning curve, um, but yeah, it's a lovely, it's a lovely looking building, mm. and you know, it's been, it's been a good evening, good day. But I do think that you know, it's in hindsight, you reflect and you learn how to make it a little bit yeah. better next time. Hi, I'm Stephen Driver, coming at the Way Forward Short Film Awards in Boreham Woods, uh, organised by Jason Cook. Okay, yeah, um, big things are more happening now. We've got more people interested and a lot of talents coming forward with regards to their films. Um, so we've seen um, different calibres of different filmmakers from beginners all the way up to professional, which is nice, um, and being supported by those that have got films out commercially, films that aren't commercially successful, and films that have been made by um, disadvantaged um, people and filmmakers, um, which is good to have a good mix. Um, we're in, in the heart of uh, the film industry with 100 years of film being done with Elstree Film Studios. Um, so yeah, it's a great platform for people to get involved uh, and uh, the events can just grow and grow and more people get involved in that and more filmmakers will get involved in that. And it's a pleasure to be obviously supported by the KS Radio. TKS Radio. TKS Radio. Yeah. Can you film? Uh, Jack and Hyde. Jack and Hyde. Yeah. Okay, George Grover. George. Gaidra. Gaidra. Sorry. I'm studying at the uh, Elstree UTC at the moment. I'm in my final year and I'm going to go on to university. Alright. I'm here at the Way Forward Short Film Awards with uh, James Inglefield, uh, creator of Rick Dangris, a prehistoric, current time, time travel kind of film, short comedy. Uh, your film's just been presented, mm -hmm. and uh, how do you think the audience received it? Learning, yeah. editing. Yeah. Uh, how are you finding the awards? Very awardy, but <laughs> very. <laughs> Poshed up, but it's not posh that yeah, I no, thought it would be. Yeah, it's very nice down there this year. Mm. Um, you didn't get to see the previous ones, did you? No. Um, back when we were in the school theatre. Yeah, it's first time I've actually uh, been. First time I've actually done a film. Yeah. The other films I've done were pretty much a team effort. Yeah. Uh, especially when I actually upset a few people. Yeah. By showing off. <laughs> otherwise. We all do it from time to time. Basically, I've taken 10 years in, in bringing out all sports and, and bringing it to have the advantage taken away. Meaning that basically an able-bodied person has all the fruits and, and the labours of, of sport where disabled are pushed to the side, as to say. Really, me being me, I like causing pain and I like seeing pain, so that guy's disabled and he's doing MMA. Well, let's go have a look at him. 
I've been involved in boxing now for about 20 years. I've been involved in promoting about five years. Me personally, I'm more for, I want to see the, the amputees, that's all I want to see. Because I see boxing all the time, I see the disabled people. It was one person in particular that basically made me get off my backside and do something when you're a quadruple amputee and you're doing a cage fight against an upstanding person. Yeah, when I was younger I did uh, kickboxing, uh, judo, uh, kung fu. Okay, and you had an accident and, you know, in a wheelchair. Have you got that urge to, to do it again? When I was diagnosed with going blind, unfortunately it makes a turn in your life because I was a uh, semi-professional rugby league win, player. If, if people have stepped away from me, it's because basically they've listened to one side of the conversation. Nobody's spoken to me or even asked me a question. Nothing too strenuous, yeah? Just focus on what we're doing with the chair and then everything else will fall into place, all right? But nothing too hard. I'm not going out. not <laughs> too. Due to a car crash which severed my spinal cord and been disabled since I was three. You don't lose your upper body strength from when you were an able bodied person. I see life is a big game that I can't lose. When I was uh, had cataracts, I had it was like frosted glass. Now when they took that out, they slit it. If, if it was left to the, the voice piece of the people in wheelchairs themselves, they will promote it. They themselves want it. I was uh, born with a condition called neurophilomatosis. Uh, I spent 21 years trying to uh, save my leg. I'm just looking forward to uh, finding uh, someone with a similar disability to have a fight with. Well, whether it's someone with a similar disability or uh, an elderly-bodied person, I'm, I'm, I'm not particularly bothered. I mean, each person is held accountable for their own action. And you can't expect, I mean, most of these guys that get in the ring and they're, they're able-bodied or, or play for professional sport. Any, any professional sport is down to that person. They're training for people with two legs and um, obviously have one leg, so or one and a half, we'll say. There is fighters out there that are fighting able-bodied people who have got missing limbs. Yeah, Matt Bates sold his champion at the moment in America. The world of fighting and, and brutality and, and competition in mixed martial arts is not that far disassociated from the world of disability as some people might think. There's a lot of disability people out there with that pent-up aggression and that mentality urge to fight just as much as the next physically competent fighter. Filmmakers and, and, and charity that's, that's been brought to our awareness here today. But what I did not expect is what I just saw there on the screen is those uh, those young men, those uh, uh, guys, you know, the amputees and and, 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 and and the injured young guys in wheelchairs getting involved in boxing. I never knew it, it, it existed, and I must say, as, as being a former professional boxer myself, I'm absolutely thrilled to see what I saw there on the screen. Some people might not understand, they might think it's, it, it's, um, it's not really... Amy, and you are awarding me. I'm awarding the uh, best newcomer. Which is, um, Wheeled Warriors. Woo! Woo! Come on, here today to take their awards or... Colin's going to be speechless. He's, I'm going to phone him in about two minutes and he's going to be late. Thank you, guys. Right, the runner-up is Cheese on Toast, James Sharp. Okay, so um, James Sharp wasn't able to make it today, um, but he apologises, but um, obviously he'll yeah. greatly perceive that. Right. Um, I actually know James Sharp. Right and, um, <laughs> I felt the coming up there, but he's going to be very happy that I'm going to spend it well. Um, <laughs> the main thing is that we all enjoyed what he set out to achieve. And that was to be slapstick and funny with it. And I think he done he done he done the job justice. So uh, 
I'm actually proud of him, funny enough. So, yeah, yeah. so well done, uh, James, wherever you are. I'll spend your money wisely. <laughs> First of all, I just want to say uh, well done to everyone who uh, had their films today. I thought it was absolutely brilliant, and you all deserve a very big round of applause. So now, the winner, uh, the winner is chosen purely um, on many different things: uh, storyline, inventive camera moves, kind of a lot, a lot of different things. But we personally thought the winner was cold. So congratulations. So if you, Tom Beckley, could make your way to the stage, please. Congratulations, Rob. Uh, guys, thank you very much for, for, for voting for me. I really didn't expect this, because I thought, you know, there was so many better films up there than mine, but Jesus Christ, thanks very much. Eh? Um, uh, just a, a quick uh, recap about the film as well too. Domestic violence is, is very close to my heart and, and I hope that, you know, someone out there got the message tonight, please just keep fighting the cause. Thank you. Oh, Tom's a great friend of mine. I'm very proud of him today as well. So thank you everyone. There was no fix. The judges are all here and they spent ages deciding. And it is not all about always the budget. Sometimes it is something that captures you. The shot, the acting. But I, I agree, I think Cole's a beautiful film and um, it's got a very strong message as well. Thank you so much for everything. Jason would like to say a couple more words, but thank you so much. We will have more events. The more we do, the better they will be. You will not be cold next time. The only cold will be will be the film that Tom made. <laughs> so thank you so much. Bear with us. We're learning as we go. We're trying to make a difference. We want to give platforms. Next time, watch this space.